everyone this is mayur welcome to ml works in this video we'll be talking about a data manipulation library called as pandas this is one of the most widely used library when it comes to data manipulation basically there are data present in sql databases okay so we manipulate there but majority of our data analytics or data scientists right they work using pandas for data manipulation so let's get started so first we import the pandas library has pd and then we load a data set population data set and then we look at a gist of the data set by doing dot head on top of the data frame okay so here we see different set of columns are present like around five columns are there each with different uh, values one is of uh, entity and code both looks like string and here is an integer and population it looks like majority it looks like nans Uh, there will be probably some values at the bottom and then population we have historical estimates which is a floating point value and our indexes start is an integer it starts from 0 to whatever the size of the data set is and if you want to extract the columns alone from our data set we can do data dot columns it will give us all the columns name and if you want to what find out the uh, total size of the data set we can do something called as data dot shape So we have totally thirty six thousand five eighty eight records, and there are five columns present. And this, since I already mentioned, our uh, index starts from zero to what whatever the size of the data set is. So we'll see here data dot index. So it starts from zero, stops at thirty six thousand five eighty eight, increasing at a rate of one. And since I already mentioned, uh, these are string integer. Let's see what is the data types. D types. Data dot D types is equal to entities. Looks like it was a. It is not a string. It is an object of type object. This is also object. This is integer. And population is mentioned in float sixty four and float sixty four. And if you want to look at what uh, some of the aspects with respect to what floating point numbers, like what is the min minimum year, maximum year, or maximum projection of future, or minimum projection, we can do something called as data dot describe. It will give us all these values. If you see here, we have count total number of uh, values. Uh, this is, I guess, they have added it actually. Uh, I don't think so. It's add. It's a total count actually. Total count of the values. And here we have mean. The mean is the average, and it is a standard deviation for year. So standard deviation for population. This is the value, and minimum is 1950, and the maximum year is 2100. And these are the quantile range. Twenty-five percent uh, of the values like are less than nineteen eighty-seven. Fifty percentage of the values in year are less than twenty twenty-five. Okay, so this generalizes the word whatever the data is present. Right, it just generalizes. What are some basic features of that particular floating point or integer values? Okay. So as we have seen earlier, we have n n's present in our data set. So to count the number of n n's, we can do something called as data dot is n a dot sum. It will give us total number of n n's present in each column. So for code, we have thousand fifty seven, and for population future projection seventeen thousand four seventy, and historical estimates around nineteen thousand are missing. Okay. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll just if you want to what uh, manipulate our column names, okay, we can do something called as add prefix or add suffix, and whatever you want to what add uh, string to your column name, you can do this. Okay, so it adds like what pops underscore pops underscore pops underscore everywhere. Similarly, we can do suffix also. And in this cell, what we'll see is uh, how to apply our mathematical functions like max, min, on top of our columns. Okay. So if I do dot aggregate of max and min. Okay. So max with respect to entity, we have Zimbabwe is the maximum. That is the last. Uh, based on the uh, alphabet, they have what showed it here. Zimbabwe is the max, and min is the Afghanistan. And the year is twenty one hundred, which is the max. And the minimum year is 1915. For population, minimum is 1 into what e power 10 or 7.8 into e power 02 is the minimum. And this is for what historical estimates. Now, if we have seen worked on data sets, right? Different data sets or data science problem. Okay, many of them use what uh, NumPy array, what to manipulate or do some matrix multiplication. 
frame. So to convert our data set into what from data frame to what uh, numpy array, we can use data dot values. It will convert our data frame into numpy array. And here in this cell, what we see is creating a separate column from existing column. Consider we have a feature, okay, and uh, where you want to uh, update that feature by some value, okay. So consider we have what here, okay, we want to update it by plus one value. So what we do is data dot assign and write a column name here, a new column name, and give a nameless function here, create a nameless function and manipulate each value in the rear by one. Okay, it will create a new column here. So year is 1951, it is changed to what? Added one year to it. And this column name is plus one year. Okay. So next is how to fetch a value from particular column and particular row. Okay, since our index is start from uh, 0 to what 36,000, I picked up some index like 100 and going to some value entity under column entity and using the function dot at. Okay, let's see what it fetches. It fetches the value Afghanistan. Let's see for 2000 what it fetches. Australia. Okay. So now since the index is at what, uh, it's a numeric type, uh, it starts from 0 to 36,000. I'll rechange that index from by creating a new index or setting a new index using data dot set index. Uh, now the index will be year. Okay. Let's like this one. Our index has changed from what numeric to what this column, whatever we have given here, 1952, 1954. Okay. And now, uh, based on the year, we can fetch a column name and column value, column name, uh, particular row yeah so this is not applied to the data now okay it is just uh, for this particular cell this is showing this uh, year has what the index to apply it on what uh, in place should be true this particular parameter should be true such that we can apply it on top of the data set permanently okay so i'll do this and then we'll look at what is present at 1951 at code so there are so many other countries, right? And there are also NANs as we have seen earlier, there are 1057 NANs present under code. And there are so many uh, other countries code are present. Okay. And at 1951, we have so many different codes are present. There will be some, looks like, let's see what is the length of uh, this array. This length or I'm not sure if length will work. Yeah, 242. Okay. Some of them are NANs here or uh, NAN we have here. Yeah, NAN we have. So some may be repeated, maybe. Okay, anyway, we got this right, what it is. Uh, we set a new index and based on that index, we are fetching the value now. Okay. Now, since I feel like what historical estimates are no use for my word data manipulation or for data analytics, so I drop the column using dot drop. And uh, while doing this, you have to what mention the axis. And if you permanently want to delete it from your data set, you have to do in place is equal to true. Okay, so we have dropped our historical estimates. Now we have NANs present for the future projections. So what we'll do is we'll drop NA from this uh, whatever the data set we have right. Now since we already dropped historical estimates, we just have future projection now. Drop NA, we'll drop. So there is some multiple things right. Like in data analytics, what we can do is when you have NA and you can either replace it with some data imputation using mean, variance or something right. Mean, mode, uh, those things can be done. Otherwise you can directly remove the records directly. So what I'll do here is drop and I'll do. Okay, it will uh, totally remove the records from your what data set. And if we see here, uh, records are removed, NAN records are removed, and the total data set is uh, what reduced. Let's see what the uh, it is from 36,000. It is reduced from by half. Okay, and we have three columns now. Now, if you don't want to remove the records and you want to impute some value, you can do something called as data dot fill NAN. 
and it will what instead of uh, removing the records it will va add value 0.0, .0 to wherever it is present and i am doing it for the complete data set in place is equal to true i'm putting it okay so let's do that now we'll have what we'll get our 36,000 records uh, let's see yeah 36,000 records and uh, our values are what fill in uh, names are uh, replaced by uh, 0, 0.0 Okay, now what we'll see is uh, how to do what covariance. Uh, we'll look at covariance and correlation. So here we have covariance value between this. Okay, that since we have only one numeric what column here, so we are getting a covariance for that particular column, and correlation will be what one since we have only one column, because this column is completely correlation with its own column. <laughs> okay, and using dot in largest. Okay, what we'll do is uh, we'll identify top 10 large value. Okay, top 10 large values under future projections. Similarly, there is something called as n smallest, which will give the smallest value in your uh, population projection. So for entity world, these are the largest value we have. In the last 10 years, I guess, in the last 21 to 90, yeah, 91. This is n largest and n smallest we have. So this is just a word, part one of the video actually. And there are tons and tons of what functions in pandas which we can utilize. And this is the part one of the series. So I am stopping it now and we'll continue with what uh, other functions present in pandas in the next video. Thank you.